welcome back. Today we are playing the Medieval Color Legacy Challenge. We are in the light green generation and last episode we finally married our arranged, sp bleh, arranged spouse to be Beth. Beth is lovely. Beth is delightful. Beth hates Armand with the fire of flaming suns. I don't know. Words are hard for me right now. I can't talk. But like she don't, she don't like him. She's not a big fan. I did update her outfit. I know it's more dark green than like light green, but I wanted her to have sleeves. Oh my god. This is gonna this is might be a rough update by the way, because I've just I've had to do a lot of things the past couple days. Not even hard things, but like social things. And so I'm just I'm not quite <laughs> not quite here. I'm gonna do my best, but Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm tired. That's okay. <laughs> there were good things too. I got to play D&D and I got to play Pathfinder, which was amazing in person. Yeah. So anyways, uh, goals for this episode. I do want to age up Veronique and the lovely Merrick. I don't know why she didn't watch the wedding. She decided to stare at their bowl instead, but you do you, girl. So yeah, I want to age them up to be seniors because she's actually due to be a senior at this point. You see all of her siblings are seniors and I'm just terrified that she's accidentally going to have a baby because that would be disastrous because the rules of that, like this generation would then displace Armand as our heir and I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So we're just going to yeet her up into elderhood. Another goal that we need to start working on as part of green, like green generation is we have to go from enemies to lovers with our spouse, which means, does he even have her? Yeah. We need to be nicer to Beth, which Armand is going to enjoy. He didn't like being mean to Beth. Armand has nine nice points. Like he was not happy about it. I made him do it, but yeah. I don't know how receptive Beth is going to be. I think she... She's less angry with Armand than Armand is with her, which is interesting. But yeah, we have to start working on our relationship and liking each other. I would also like to buy another aspiration object. I do have a list. We need the aspiration changer, smart milk, kibble of life, the energizer, thinking cap, and Simvac. I know the aspiration changer is not called that, but I'm not going to butcher that word every 10 seconds. So I want to get one of those. And I would also like to run the pottery shop that we recently purchased. We need to hire employees. We need to start training the employees so that we can have somebody manage it for us. That'll be the second out of three businesses that we need to run total. So I'm going to start off strong. We're going to age up Sims <laughs> immediately because I am so afraid that she's gonna have a baby and I'm just not, I'm not, no, no, no. Come on guys. There you go, come on. Welcome to elderhood. You would definitely not wear that. At all. Like, nope. Veronique literally makes clothing for a living. She absolutely would not wear that. Let's get her some outerwear. I think she's cute. What about you, Merrick? He remains gorgeous. Of course he does. Oh, he aged up poorly. I didn't notice. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, you deserved better from me and I wasn't paying attention. My bad, my bad. We'll give them a makeover, it'll be fine. So let's give them makeovers. I'm not gonna make you watch me do the makeovers because it'll take forever, but we'll see the kind of final results. Okay, that took kind of forever. I didn't have a ton of dress options for Veronique. I would like her in something a little bit dressier. This to me still seems kind of peasanty, even though we've got the embroidery. But maybe she just wants to be comfortable, okay? 
she was a merchant. So maybe she's like, I just want to be comfy. I also gave her a new hairstyle. Just looks a little fancier. Merrick was really hard to make look old. He just looks like a young man who drew lines in his face. So I did give him like a graying hair rather than a fully gray hair because that just looks like he dyed his hair silver. <laughs> and we got a beard, but Merrick is just Merrick. He's too beautiful to function and it, that's just the way that it is. So we have aged up our parents. I would like Armand to chat with Beth for a little bit and just see, see if we can't yeah, apologize, I think, would be ideal. So sure, sure, I'll apologize. I'm really annoyed. I was playing my MCC, and for whatever reason, the rainforest lots are just jump buggies. Like, all get out, and I don't know why. Like, the because I, I was playing the Jarl, and the Jarl was fine for, like, three days, and then all of a sudden I couldn't use the bed anymore. And if you hovered over the bed, it would just like jump, 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 jump. So I did my favorite troubleshooting, which is delete the Sims, exit the lot, go back in. And usually that kind of resolves things, but I was having to delete the bed and replace it and the new bed would work, but then like it would stop working after a while again. And I, I don't know. And I know I haven't added anything new to that save file because it's a limited CC file. But I also have not played the Tropical Rainforest slots, which have a lot of unique items to them. So I'm really hoping it's not like the castaway items, maybe? I don't know. Alright, she looks like she took that well. Where are you going? Oh, she needs to pee. No, you don't need to answer the phone. You need to pee. Your dress is beautiful. Please don't ruin it. Thank you. Alright, Armand. Where are you two going? Okay, you're going to answer the phone. Can we buy an aspiration object with him? Kind of. We could do kibble of life. Smart milk I'm trying to save until there's actually like a baby. But we could do the Renu U Sensor, which is what I was calling the aspiration changer. I kind of want to save that one because I am leaning towards the idea of that's one of the last things we get and that once we complete the generation, he goes ahead and changes his aspiration to maybe popularity. So I kind of don't want to get that one yet. But there also is this Energizer. Or no, that's not the Energizer. That. He doesn't have enough for. She, I don't think, has hardly anything. Wait, we don't, you don't have a job. So we want motives. Yeah, I don't think... Getting cool. We might have to just have like a point day. Oh wait, he can afford it. So let's purchase that real quick. And then we're putting things just in Armand's inventory because it's easier. Well, let's just go run the pottery shop because she's taking care of business. She accepted the apology, which is a nice step forward. Why can't you walk anywhere? Oh wait, right there. Yeah, let's go to the pottery shop. We will take your mother. We will not take Merrick because he's not helpful. So pottery bar. Let's go there. I will see you when we're there. All right, so this is the pottery barn. Uh, doesn't really look like a barn like a hobbit hole but above ground and that's okay i wanted to use that to work there's not a ton in here again i don't have any specific rules in regards to how these lots are set up they just have to be fully functional as in they have a manager so a sim trained in enough skills that they can manage a business and i just realized i'm missing the sign so yeah, that's very open to interpretation. How I intend for it to be is they're at least selling products, you know. It's not an empty shop that just you happen to hire people who are skilled, but I'm not. People can do whatever they want. I'm not going to be picky or a jerk about it. 
I mean, I'm not gonna be a jerk about anything, let's be honest. If you wanna play this challenge, do what you will. It's cool. That said, I hope Veronique is having a good day. Because <laughs> occasionally, she's not very nice. Alright, let's go hire some employees. I could have filled it with more, but I was like, eh. Alright, does anybody have any badges? Ooh, Ryan has some badges, so we're definitely gonna hire him. We need at least one more employee so that they can properly run the shop. Like, she's. Or not she. Ryan is gonna need somebody to actually manage, so I think I'm gonna go with Armando. We have Armand and Armando, and it makes me happy. So we're gonna call in the employees. Sandy is here, apparently. She is actually the manager of our other business, so I don't know why she's here. But that's okay, that's okay. She's also, we've had some woohoo relations with her. Probably not the most wonderful thing to do when you're running a business, but hey, it's Armand. Sandy? No, no, no. Go away. We are working. We are dazzling. You want to buy... I don't know what she's looking at, but you want to buy it. Alright. You guys are here. I am going to assign him because what does he have again he has nothing ryan has register and sewing which we don't need so ryan i'm gonna have do sales and armand we will do restocking Go tell him what to do. Well, he's just studying that. All right. Neither of them has the spirit. We are wearing inappropriate clothing, but you know, that's, that's okay. Hey, 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 why are you not? Management, assign, restock, because I just assigned him sales. You're not getting out of this, buddy. All right, so while they do that and Veronique mans the register, we are gonna chat on the phone. We're gonna multitask here because we do eventually need a mistress. I'm not sure who she'll be yet, but we do need one. So let's start working on that. I'm sure Beth will be thrilled because right now we do have Christy and an Andrea kind of on the hook. That is his sister, so definitely not her. Tosha is a teenager. I say we start working on Jan. I, or not. Rude. Rude Jan. Rude. Mina was going to be the next one, and you know what? I prefer Mina, too. So. All works out. Veronique, I see, I see you, mean muggin, I see it, well, not, not what I meant to do at all. Has anybody ever used that, like, storytelling feature? And I'm not talking about, like, when it came out, I'm talking, like, recently. Does anybody actually use this story mode? Because I don't, but I feel like it would be useful for me to have something in-game of just, like, Here's a picture, just so I know what's happening. Because I think... Yeah, you can do, like, entries in the album. Let's... Yeah, you can do, like, ah, we opened a pottery shop. I feel like it would be useful for tracking things, but... 
Also, I'm terrible, and I would never remember to do it anyways. Okay, good. She's still running the register. Sometimes she gets cranky and stops running the register, and that's because she is... a loner. I was trying to remember what her... what her malfunction was. But look, we're selling things. Everybody seems happy. We're getting stars. Kind of put some cheaper items, a few expensive ones too, but like those are five, those are 21. Come on, Sandy, buy something. We want you to buy something, so like it would be super helpful if you would buy something. Let's talk to Rose or not. Rude, rude, Rose. the shop to like nine. I'm hoping that one of them gets a bed or maybe we'll just run it till we get a badge. We're rank one and we've got all the points again because now the business is owned by Armand which we're going straight for money because we need it. We eventually need 250,000 simoleons and we still have a business to run and we have to be able to support a mistress so like we need money. Very important. All right, how about you just go jump rope? Because I just, I don't want you to get involved with the business and get in the way. So you just do you. Come on, Sandy, buy something. Are you being difficult? She's not. Why won't you buy some? Or is he trying? He wants to hire. You already have her hired. She's just not in this lot. Rude. Are either of you guys close to getting a badge? It would be super, super convenient if you did. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Armando. It's like level one of the badge. It should be easy. I feel like they're not getting a badge just despite me. until we get a badge and then yeah because now I'm determined okay that actually didn't take too long Ryan got his first badge with us so we need to change his wage so that he does not quit on us but also let me pay you whoa not that much cool all right let's send them home let mom finish ringing people out i'll probably give them uniforms at some point what are you, are you laughing in a barrel concerned about you armando or not armando oh my gosh armand now we've got two That was running the pottery shop. That was a goal. All that's left is our relationship with Beth, which we did apologize, so I feel like we met that goal. So let's send them home. Come on. Anyway, we'll see you back at the house. All right, so I did just look and see that we're almost at 20 minutes. So I am gonna go ahead and end this here with Grumpy, grumpy Veronique, as per 
usual. But we did, we achieved our goals. Next time, I do really want to work on our relationship with Beth. She's, again, a lot happier with Armand than, Armand did, goodness, Armand than he is with her. But we'll just keep working on that and seeing if we can't at least get them out of the negative would be ideal. And I might grind through the pottery shop in terms of getting their employees badges. So that that will be business number two that will be completely managed by somebody. That said, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It really does help. And I will see you in the next one.